What is happening, everybody? All right, so the 1320 Challenger has been announced. Pretty cool deal, and although it will not be on sale until late 2019, well, at least we got something to talk about in the meantime. If you're not up to speed, here's the stats on this car. It's basically a Challenger Scat Pack core. It's got some electronics borrowed from the Demon. Still has the tried and true 392 Hemi, but it's got some upgraded half shafts, different dampening up front, basically through electronic magic, uh, giving it a little bit better launch, and, well, it still has a 309 rear gear. All right, so let's talk about this thing for a minute. There was, and the initial announcement, there were some folks speculating that it was going to have the 370 rear gear, basically the same rear gear that is in a manual Hellcat. And that got the buzz really moving. And it should. I mean, if you think about it, uh, what would you do if you were to get one of these cars to go quicker in the quarter mile? I mean, aside from you know, throwing more displacement at the naturally aspirated engine, which they did not do or won't do, uh, and, well, throwing more power at it, which they won't do or can't do for either emissions reasons or for economic reasons, uh, the other idea would be to throw a more aggressive rear gear in the car. Okay, they didn't. And that annoys the hell out of me. I mean, yeah, the 370 out of the Hellcat might have been a little bit much for that car, but it doesn't take too much back mathing to figure out what ratio would work best, and that's actually a 331. You mean to tell me that they couldn't put a 331 gear or a 345 gear or a three and a anything gear together aside from the 309 to throw into that car? It drives me nuts. Here's the deal. They're advertising the car to go up, yeah, 1170 is at about 115, but that's without the passenger seat and without the rear seat. Well, the funny thing is, if you take a normal Scat Pack or SRT, remove the passenger seat and the rear seat, you basically accomplished the same thing that the 1320 did. Throw a sticky tire on it, and in good weather, that car will absolutely go deep into the 11, somewhere between, I don't know, 1160 and 1180. Oh, wait, that's about an 1170. And they will trap in at about 115 miles per hour. So I'm failing to see what the hell this car is supposed to mean. Yeah, it's great that they're, I don't know, helping out or at least catering to the grassroots racers. But the problem is they're not giving you that much, at least not enough to where it really makes any difference compared to the cars that it is uh, replacing in a way, I guess is the way to say. And look, I think it's great that they're offering some of the gizmos and gadgets from the demon, but let me just put it to you like this. Um, my car, SRT, still with the cats, with a tune and a tire, and that was basically it, ran an 1158 at 116 miles per hour. Now, granted, that was in great weather, but that was a full weight SRT. Not to get into the whole scat pack weight savings over SRT thing, it's negligible, trust me. I'm around these things all day long. I can speak to that subject, and I can tell you that this car doesn't weigh significantly less than a normal scat pack with everything stripped out of it. It doesn't go significantly quicker with all the gizmos and gadgets. And I'm supposed to buy into this because they're catering to a grassroots racer. A grassroots racer that would buy the 1320 is already racing a Mopar to begin with. They've either got a Scat Pack or an SRT. They've either put a tune on it or they've put a tire on it or they've done some weight savings or all of the above or some mix of the former. And they're already going quicker than what the 1320 is going. So what's left would be to put a better, more aggressive gear ratio in that car. Make it available through Mopar performance parts for guys that already own Scat Packs and SRTs Oh, and don't leave out the Charger guys either here, and put something together that works for all of us. And, I don't know, maybe give a, 
uh, I don't know, a programming update to the ECU. Hey, here's some performance stuff from the Demon that you can now download or bring it into your authorized Mopar dealership. They do the, uh, the modification for you, and now you have that. Sell it at a cost, make a decent profit, and make the guys that are out there flying your flag high even that much more proud to know that you're standing behind, behind them even that much strongly. So... I guess, to me, the 1320 represents something a little gimmicky, in a way. I mean, first of all, they're not releasing it with the Demon Hood. They didn't do a different uh, air intake in, uh, system for it. So you still have the stock air intake system, and you don't get the cool effect of the hood. You only get some of the features from the Demon uh, and oh, by the way, one of those features is cool down or something like that. Well, uh, the Taser already has an option for that. Um, torque Reserve, uh, we're out there running these numbers on a foot brake. And what the hell ever happened to launch control? We've got launch control on the cars and nobody uses it because it sucks. So we've got that to work with also. I mean, if you've had some success with it, by all means, post up a comment and let me know, but I mean, I'm running in deep into the 11s in good weather and going 1190s in crap weather, just launching off the foot brake. So I'm not so sure that a line lock is going to do me a whole lot of good. I don't know. We'll see. But the reality is, is that I don't see a whole lot of benefit by giving the buyers, or at least catering to the Mopar fan that would actually buy this car and giving them some gadgets and gizmos, but not giving them anything mechanical that is far and away enough of a performance advantage over your basic scat pack or SRT, which would have been in the past, or anything, you know, the new stuff. It's not enough of a mechanical advantage in software. Uh, it's just not there for me. And that uh, just drives me nuts. But you know what? At least they're doing something. And that's a hell of a lot more than I could have said about them not that long ago. So good on you, FCA. Glad to see that you're actually pushing the brand farther, doing some things for the naturally aspirated guys to help keep them in the fight. Hey, if nothing else, it's lip service. It's nice to be told you're pretty every once in a while, right? At any rate, post up your comments. Let me know what you think about that new 1320 edition. And that's a wrap on this one. Adios.